All right, guys. So today I'm gonna start this video by showing you guys something crazy that happened last night. I'm gonna hop on the pit bike and go show you guys something just down the road from me. It was uh, it was about 11 o'clock at night last night, and uh, this guy. I'm about to go to bed, right? And I hear this banging on the door, like bang, 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 really loud. And uh, I go to the door. Of course, I get a pocket knife ready because you never know. But I go to the door, and uh, I see this guy. He's got blood all over his head. He's like, "Hey, man, I just crashed my car right in the field, <laughs> and uh, that's it right there." An old Saturn. He actually went from. I don't know if you can see it. Hey, neighbor. But that telephone pole right over there. I'll show you guys. I'll go over there and show you exactly where he went down. But. Oh, my bike died. But yeah, he uh, came cruising around the corner. It's kind of a terrible corner. And uh, it was, the roads were wet. He slid around a bit, went right into the, the pasture here, cleaned out part of the fence, did a couple rolls, <laughs> and then uh, landed over here, which is nuts. Like, that's a huge gap. But uh, luckily, he was all right. State troopers came over and... Uh, Check things out, everything was good. He was all right, no uh, broken bones, nothing. He just all cut up everywhere. But uh, yeah, that was pretty exciting last night. I'll show you guys, if I can get my bike started, I'll show you exactly what happened. There we go. All right, let's go. Let's hop down the field first and check out some more of the damage to his car. Hopefully this camera angle is good for you guys. I just barely got a new helmet, a new GoPro setup. It's on the front of my face. But, uh, yeah. Check it out. We'll go check out the, uh, oh, bike died again. Yeah. Check that out. <laughs> He's got glass all over the place and dirt. It dented the, the, the roof in pretty good. But yeah, he got grass all over the place. He, he came tumbling through here. Let's go check out where he, oh, some glass right there. There's glass all over the place. Well, that's what happened last night. And uh, I ended up bringing him to his house. He lives about half an hour from me. So I brought him to his house late last night. But uh, pretty crazy, crazy stuff. This isn't the first accident that's happened on this corner. We actually had a motorcyclist die many, many years ago on this corner, but I'll turn around real quick. So you can actually see where he started to go down. He missed his telephone pole right here. He kind of did a little squirrely action right here. Went, started to go down right here. And then I'm assuming he did a, a barrel roll. And <laughs> you can actually see all the dirt that he spun up. Yeah, it looked like he was coming in sideways. Flipped it, kept flipping it all the way to the end of the, the fence over there. Crazy stuff. That is like that is like record distance. <laughs> That's really far. But yeah, luckily he was all right. It could have gone a lot worse. I'm surprised that little car handled it so well. But yeah, so I wanted to show you guys that real quick. Start the video off with something crazy like that, because that was my night last night. I didn't get back to like 2:30 in the morning. But uh, yeah, so that's what happened. We'll get the video started right here, my friends, and we'll see what we can do today. I don't know what I'm doing. I might go pick up a snowmobile. I'm not sure, but let's get the video started. All right, here we go. Yes, got it. What's up, guys? So the intro that you actually saw was from yesterday. Today's a brand new day. I was going to do what I'm gonna do today, yesterday, if that makes sense, but I ran into some stuff, so I had to do some other things, and uh, whatever. Pretty much what we're doing today, I'm going to the post office first before they close. It's gonna close in 10 minutes, I gotta run down there. And then we're gonna go to the gas station, fill this up, and then I'm gonna go to my friend Travis's house, because that's where my snowmobiles are being stored, and I wanna go get one of my snowmobiles, bring it back to my house, work on it, get it prepped for winter. I know you guys are pumped for that, and so am I. That's what we're doing today. I gotta to load it by myself, because as you know, Mike and Travis are on a, a crazy motorcycle trip doing crazy stuff. So that's what's up. I know I'm speaking very fast, but that is what's going on. Let's get into it. Yeah, I gotta get some stuff. I think I'm gonna bring a uh, piece of plywood, 
to help load the sled because I'm going to be by myself. And uh, what else I got to bring? I got to bring some packages down to the post office because you guys are killing it buying the Ride More shirts, the Ride More decals. I really appreciate that. If you want to check them out, ridemorestore.com. Shameless plug. And then what else I got to get? I got to get something else. No, I think that's it actually. Well. I almost forgot to bring my pit bike. The reason I'm bringing my pit bike, here's where it gets interesting. My four wheel drive is out in my truck. The hill in front of Travis's house where I'm gonna load the snowmobile because it's a hill, it's a little bit easier to put the snowmobile in the truck. My four wheel drive's out, it's a little bit slippery. I might get stuck, it's a little steep too as well. So I might get stuck. If I get stuck, I gotta have a way to get back home. So if that happens, which I hope it doesn't really, I got a way to get home. So that's what I'm doing. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're good, I also have a piece of plywood here just to make things a little bit easier when I'm loading the sled up. So, let's do this. Mm. All right, first stop, post office. So I actually got a, uh, a package from a viewer out there. My man, Brandon, sent me a package, which is cool. Very cool, thank you. That brings me to another point. I am going to do a uh, fan mail, I guess what you'd call it, video for you guys sometime soon. Um, I gotta give a shout out to my man, Jeremy L. He sent me a box like uh, last winter. I haven't, I haven't opened it yet. Um, so I got, I got a few packages to open. Let me know in the comments if you guys want me to do that, and we will. But thanks to Brandon right here for this cool package. I'm excited to see what's in it. I don't know, I have no idea. Oh. Truck's running a bit rough today. <laughs> got gas, we went to the post office, now we're it's time to go to Travis's house and see what we can do with the snowmobiles. Uh, I'm thinking here's how this video is going to go, I'm going to reveal one of the new sleds to you guys. I say new, they're old sleds I bought a while back, but still new to me, so I think I'm going to do one of the, do one of those, reveal one of those to you guys. I'm thinking, I'm thinking on my way to Travis's house right now, I'm thinking. Alright, pulling into Travis's house now, you can see the sleds all lined up over there. Yeah, you see his Jeeps over there. Let's go check it out. I'll shut my truck off. Boom. Uh, so here we are at Travis's residence. He's got his pit bike over there tucked away. He's got his two Jeeps, an old phaser, and the sleds right there. Uh, I got my other sled right over there. Mike's sled, uh, my other sled. These are the three new ones right here. And then Travis and Mike bought that one together, and then I got that old one over there. Old Players Indy. A couple of part sleds for Mike and Travis. Travis has his nice sled right there, which he needs to rebuild the motor pretty much. So let's check out the hill first before we do anything. Oh, check this out too. Check what Travis got right here. Boom! Another shameless plug. All right, so I could go right here. Actually, that's kind of a good bank right there. Park my truck right here, just like that, and then I think I can get up that hill. It's no problem, it's not too wet. I don't know, I'm thinking this is a good spot right here. I'm thinking if I go do, 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 do one of these things, park right here. But first, it's gonna help if I can get the sled running to drive it here instead of drag it. But we'll see, that's, that'll be the first thing we do, but I think that's gonna be a good spot. 
So you guys gotta let me know in the comments, man, my screen is all dirty, my lens. Um, you guys gotta let me know in the comments if you like this style of video more, equal, if you like them, if, if you like them, just drop me a line in the comments. I wanna see what you guys like so I can do more of that. I am starting to sweat out here. But yeah, let me know in the comments if you like these videos. It's more of like a vlog style, kind of different from the, uh, the other videos I do. But let me know in the comments. I should send out a Snapchat and see which one I should reveal. That's, I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. For those of you do, who don't have me on Snapchat, the links are in the description, probably on the screen right now. Instagram works too. All the social media sites are in the description. So follow me there for exclusive content and for sometimes to be featured in videos like this one. I'm gonna send out a Snapchat, see which one they want me to reveal. All right, so I got the three sleds lined up in the picture right there. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm gonna mark one, two, and three. And the first person to send me a snap with a number gets to decide which bike. I mean, which snowmobile. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore, but yeah, let's do this. Oh, we got one here. Right off the bat, James. Let's see what James has to say. Number three. All right, number three. I, this, uh, the one closest here, I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, the one I'm pointing to right now, that's number three. So that's what James decided. Let's do it. All right guys, so here's how I want this to happen. I want to be able to pull it real quick and it just bam, shows right there, but I'm probably gonna pull it and it's gonna snag and then I'm gonna have a tough time, but. I'm gonna do it right now, right in front of your eyes, right here. Here we go, here we go. Ready? You ready for this? Ah, nope, see it, it didn't work. Ah. Boom! Boom! There it is. All right, I grab this now. So this is a 2002 Skidoo MXZ 800. A lot like my MX MXZ 700 I had last year and I still have over there, but this is an 800 in beautiful condition. No rips in the seats. The only problem with it is this little crack right here. But look at that. Isn't she a beauty? If you look underneath, it's mint condition. Let's see if we can get a shot for you guys. It looks so beautiful. The track is nice. Studded track. Woo! It's also a uh, Salt Lake edition. I don't know if that means anything to you guys. But yeah, this is it. Check it out. Bam. So we're gonna see if we can get this thing running. Like I said before, maybe I didn't say, I don't remember. I When I store my sleds, I take all the gas out because it's not good to have old gas in it. So technically I should be able to put new gas in it and it'll fire right up. But we'll see, we, we never know. It's been sitting for a little bit. But hey, let's get to it. There's the gasoline. Come on out. Ugh. My fit bike's still holding up back there. Hanging on for dear life. <laughs> All right, gasoline. Boom, 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 boom. We have gas, check. Now we gotta just fire it up, see how see how this goes. How many pulls do you think it's going to take? Comment below or not. You don't want, I don't know. It doesn't matter. Let's see. Let's see what happens here. So the Red Devil is going, running top notch, ready for winter, pretty much. I'm probably gonna clean the cards on it, but it's going good. So I'm gonna move this thing, and then I'm gonna try and do that little 
little kitty quarter thing up into that bank. We're gonna see if we can load this bad boy up. Ah, oh. you guys, let me know if you you like my purchase. Do you guys like these old MXZ? Uh, I forget what uh, chassis they are, but you guys like those? I like mine. Come on now. That's a quality machine right there. <laughs> I actually really do like these old phasers. <laughs> this one just happens to be extremely beat up, but I love it. Woo. Let's check that out. I'm kind of at an angle, but right over here drop tailgate uh, that's not too far of a jump especially with my little pallet my uh, plywood here i think we got it guys look at that that is so nice i got it resting on the lip of the truck drive right into here I think that's gonna work. That is not steep at all. Whew. So far, so good. All right, we recording? Yeah. All right, so I got my uh, helmet on with my GoPro. And I got the camera over here. I'm gonna start this up. I'm gonna take a little mini rip and I'm gonna park it right over there and just drive it right into my truck. Boom. Hopefully it doesn't end up like one of those funny videos you see where a guy like tumbles over the, the front of the truck and whatnot. All right, wow. Feels weird to be getting on a sled. I'm excited. Boom. Just like that. I love hearing that sound. I can't tell you how pumped I am for this winter. It's going to be good. We're going to have some crazy videos this winter. Look at this thing. You guys got to tell me if you like my purchase. I like these sleds. As you guys know, last year I got my 700 MXZ over there. There's just a year difference between the two, but I like them. All right, guys, let's do this. Woo -hoo. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Oh, it's got some power. It's got some power. Ugh. I'm sure Travis won't mind me riding on his lawn a little bit. <laughs> All right, bring it right over here. Just like that. And I'll swing it around and bam, right inside. I gotta tell you, these things are all there, man. These things are heavy. Especially the 800. Okay. Yeah. Just like that. Hopefully my plywood's <laughs> wide enough. If not, then I can just lift it. But I like things easy. Okay. Beautiful. Whoop. Well, that was actually really easy. I'm glad that didn't happen midway through. <laughs> but we got it. We're good. Whammo. Oh man, that is a beautiful sight right there. The first sled loaded up in the truck of the season. Certainly not the last. Think about how many times we're gonna break down this year. Think about that one. That honestly could not have been any easier. That was like perfect, so smooth. Yeah, so perfect. So anyways guys, we got two more sleds over there ready for reveal number two and number three. I'm gonna sit down in the shade here and cool off nice seats that travis set out here for me just for me um 
yeah, I guess we'll end the video right here. If you guys liked it, be sure to hit that that like button. It really helps me out a lot. Share with your friends, all that good stuff. Um, we'll say if we get 300, 300 likes on this video, I'll do a working on the MXZ video for you guys. So there's that. Um, go ahead and comment down below if uh, or what you guys are uh, riding this year. That's what I want to know, what you guys are riding, if you like my purchase, all that good stuff. So, yeah. I'm running out of breath. I don't know what else to say. If you guys want to visit my website, I pay good money every month for that website. So ridemorestore.com, ridemorestore.com, and uh, check it out. I got some t-shirts, I got some decals, um, some other goodies. So yeah, again, guys, thanks for watching. I'm going to say goodbye right here, and we will see you next time on the videos. Here we go. Kaboom. Kaboom. <laughs> I feel like my pit bike's running like exceptionally well today for some reason. You guys ever get those days where you hop on your bike and it's like, it's a whole nother animal?